I want to start off with a quote from Revelation chapter 13, where we are told that we will be given the mark, okay, and many people, they interpret this mark to be, some said it, it was the COVID vaccine, okay, but obviously it's deeper than that. Um, I did a similar video some time back and I said that if you want to look at the cold and why um, who John used that cold, okay? It was because he was describing Nero. And he did not want to direct uh, trouble directly at his door. So he spoke in codes. Nero adds up to 666. So he was talking in codes to a Christian community that would understand that term. But in this relevant contemporary world we're living in, that code changes and it becomes deeper. One thing with the Bible is so unique that it expands in its definition as time goes on and becomes consistently relevant. And I will tell you why. The 666, what it means is, is those who oppose the will of God, those who oppose it and those who deny him. That's what it means. receive the mark of the beast you're showing whose side you are on it means that you've sold out okay you have decided you're going to go with bail you receive the mark saying i belong on the left hand path this brings me quite beautifully to the subject okay these couple i'm not sure whether they're christians or not but they I don't know how the, the bank, Metro, found out about their views. I don't know whether the application you had to fill in, saying whether you're pro-trans and children having their bits cut off, I don't know. But the bank found out that these, these, these couple, did, in fact, there's quite a few of them, did not agree with this aggressive trans agenda. So the bank denied them access for opening an account. Can you imagine a bank turning you down, turning down your money for a population that claimed to be this way, 0.5% because they weren't closing it down because you opposed homosexuality. They wasn't closing it down because you opposed lesbianism. You could be anti-gay, that's okay. They were closing it down because you were opposed to the trans agenda. In other words, they said it's not in line with our bank ethics. And it's ever since they've joined this diversity, I can't the name of it. They joined this diversity um, organization. And I think it was something to do with trans. And ever since they got poisoned and they're turning away business. What it tells you, what it, if they can do that. Another case where a Christian couple wanted to adopt a child, when they found out it was a Christian, they refused. In fact, they asked a the Christian, what's your, do you hold biblical values? Do you hold biblical truth? And because the Christian says yes, they denied the Christians the right to adopt. the right to a foster so you can see what's what's happening you can see what's happening they deny them the right to adopt in other words unless you're prepared to read from the same music sheet then you cannot buy or sell or, or participate okay or participate hence you then have to ask yourself the question if it came to such a climax and you had to open a bank account 
and they asked you that same question. What would you say? Knowing full well that if you haven't got a bank account, you can't get a job. You know, your whole life revolves around having a bank account. What are you going to do? Are you going to be truthful to your values? Are you going to be truthful for what you stand for? Or are you going to say, you know, something like Peter, I'm going to deny. I'm going to deny him three times. Why? Because I need to survive. I need a bank account. And this is what's happening. This is, this is all this digital, etc. This is why they want the world to go digital. They can control you. They can control your thoughts, your views, your values. And unless you're willing to play a ball game, they can shut you out. Nigel Farage, I don't think much of Nigel Farage. However, they had no right to close down his bank account. I don't like his politics, but he has a right to his views. He has a right to it. And they shut down his bank account. If it can happen to someone like that, where else is it happening? As I said, Christian couples, right, you know, find themselves could not adopt children because they weren't pro-trans. You know, when you come knocking at your door and they ask you, what's your view? you got to survive. you got to put food on the table. You've got to buy and sell. What are you going to do in the call to Revelation chapter 13? What are you going to do when you're forced in that, in that predicament, what are you going to do? But this is what's happening. What I find interesting is that a minority of people of only 0.5% who identify as LGBTQ have so much power that they can hold the world to ransom. They could, some people call them the alphabet mafia. They got so much power, they can hold the world to ransom. You can lose your job for refusing to play the alphabet game with them. But this is what's happening. Metro Bank has actually turned down, you know, these people because they did not agree with children turning trans. In other words, they want total control total control over your mind, over your opinions, over your values. You're not allowed to think. You're not allowed to think differently. Everyone has to read from the same music sheet. And how they control you is through digital currency. They shut down your account. The same thing they did at Donald Trump when they shut down Donald Trump's Twitter account. If they keep that to a president, it makes you, it's, it's, it is scary times, it, it really is. You know, some of us have to become lukewarm. Some of us has to play the game. Some of us will compromise. Lots of people have compromised. Lots of people pretend. Oh, I'm pro-LGBTQ. Oh, I love them. Some people pretend because they don't want to lose their jobs. They pretend they for diversity because they're terrified. So nobody speaks out. You got them stripping in front of children, right, naked in schools. And parents are quiet. Parents have nothing to say about it. Something is wrong with this society where you can have grown-ass men stripping in front of children and parents have nothing to say about it. Something is wrong with the Western society. But you know something? They keep you quiet by threatening your job, threatening your livelihood. That's how they control the masses.
how can 0.5% of the population that identify themselves as LGBTQ have so much power over the masses? That's abnormal. It makes you, it makes you wonder whether the government has an agenda, whether the government are using the LGBTQ to control the masses, to make the people afraid. Because if you could control people, there will never be a revolution. There will never be a mutiny. There will never be an insurrection. If you could control people, break down their families. And this is what's happening. You cannot buy or sell. Those words are prophetic because what it means you can see the state that is saying that the number of people that are terrified. That, oh, shall I call you a male or a female? Shall I call you a they or an it? And they're playing games with people, inventing more alphabets as they, as they go along. And people fall for the propaganda. This is what it is, propaganda. And they fall for it. Why? Because their jobs and their livelihoods are at stake. Buy or sell unless you receive the mark unless you are willing to play board game board game then you will be sacrificed they'll close down your account and you will cease to exist why do you think they want everything to be digital currency they can control you easily i'm getting too hot out here but the, I, to be honest when i saw that the banks refu refused them service i wasn't surprised because it was already you know, prophesied that this would happen. You know, mankind, we are heading for a total disaster. We really are. We are heading for total tyranny. All because of 0.5% of population who identify themselves as a cat, as a rabbit, as a, as a you know, as, as a tree, has held the world, held the world to ransom. Scary times. It really, it really is. You know, we have to ask ourselves the question. When it comes to us, are we going to compromise? I certainly would not. I'm, I'm too strong in character. I could not compromise for something I don't believe in. I couldn't do it. But many people do. Many people pretend, oh, I'm happy, I'm happy, I accept it. You know, when, when you accept something that you don't want, it damaged you psychologically because your nature really hasn't digested it. It's been forced upon you. The laws has forced you to, to change your values. And when that happens, it's not healthy. It's not healthy discussion. You've been forced by the laws. You cannot use the law to change people's values, to change people's convictions, to change people's faith. You can't do that. You know, and this is what they're doing. They're trying to create new laws in order to change people's behaviors, in order to brainwash people. And you look around, most people are brainwashed. They have no opinions, no values, no thoughts. You're dealing with robots. People are scared to have an opinion. Not me. They'll never shut me up. I'm getting the sun. The sun is really on me. So I've got too many audience listening. So. Um, <laughs> I'm quite shy, so I'll, I'll leave it here.